some of the old school values from way back in 1973. And then, of course, you've got the new wave, the technology. So there's a big push-pull going on here. Ah, but two mushers today went old school once again in the ways of commerce. Here in Ruby at the top of the hill, behind the church, is usually a quiet spot. But today, parked side by side are Melissa Stewart and Dave Branholm. He is a sly character. <laughs> Welcome to the Iditarod's version of Let's Make a Deal. I need Dexter dog food. I think she has plenty of booties, but I have a lot. And there's some big, big ones in there that she could use. I didn't need the booties, so I was like, you can have the food. Oh wait, are you giving me the faster ones or the slower yeah. ones? No, I gave you the faster ones. Okay. You know I would. I, <laughs> I just want to make sure <laughs> you're not trying to slow me down here. But what Melissa really needs are some pants. You got a little too close to the cooker, did you? I was, I was like, what the hell? I was like, well, I'll just run to Nome with one chap on the whole way. If you don't have anything and it's warming up, I'll give you my wiggy. Okay. I got those wiggy bibs like that. And Dave could use... Oh, I got water blisters and purple toes. Some feet. I left Nanana without changing my socks. And of course, that was probably one of our coldest runs. And I had a great time on it. But just, yeah, I messed up my feet. If you're in the market, the trading post is always open. You don't need a credit card out here. See, folks? Again, it's bartering. It's old school.